everybody welcome to my youtube channel today's video is going to be 10 bjds for every budget and so what i'm going to do is we're going to look at 10 layers of budgets so under 100 under 200 under 300 and we're going to go forward like that now i'm not actually only going to show you 10 bjds in some of the budget categories there's going to be multiple bjds because i wanted to give you a little bit of a variety variety between artists full sets and blanks variety between maturity like young dolls versus old dolls Dolls. I did go with all humanoid dolls for this because there's a lot of really great BJD creatures and fantasy creatures that I have, but I wanted to go fully humanoid for this one. Um, also, prices are subject to change. So these are the current prices as of December 2020. So whenever you're looking at this video, let's say you're watching this a year later, the prices may not be exactly the same as what I'm showing you here in the video. So just make sure to double check those prices. I also didn't include shipping in the price because some of the um, dolls really top out at that budget level and I wanted to not include shipping because shipping is going to be different for everybody depending on where the doll you're buying is located and also where you're located so shipping is a separate consideration that you would need to think about when you're budgeting for your doll so that being said let's jump right in into the under $100 category um, and I don't have one of these dolls, but I did some research and I looked at a lot of different dolls and there is a 15 centimeter resin sole doll called Erin available at Denver Doll Emporium and I've got all the links below in the video description of where you can purchase these dolls. Now, I am in the US, so I obviously will you know, be sharing US dealers and things like that for some of these things. Um, but you can also, if you're not in the US, check your country for the specific dealer of these products. Also, I only buy legit, I only support legit dolls. So everything on this list is legit. So anyway, uh, the Erin doll is 15 centimeters and comes with a face up because I wanted every doll within the budget to either have room in the budget for a face up or to already come with a face up because if you're a first time BJD buyer, you're probably not interested in buying all the face up supplies to do your own face up. If you are, that's great. The price of this doll would be even less without a face up but um, I did try to include face-ups within the budgets. So this Erin doll is $78 from Denver Doll Emporium, comes with a face-up, 15 centimeter, 1 8 scale BJD. Very cute little doll. I feel like I probably need to get one in the future just so I can have a proper um, review of a BJD that's in that uh, budget category. But that would be my recommendation for you if you are looking for something under $100. And that size of doll is very easy to find clothes for too. So that is another big plus for that doll. In the under $200 category, now this doll is not under $200, but I brought her because she's from the same comp or her body is from the same company as the doll I'm about to recommend. There is a 1 6 scale USD doll by Doll Leaves called Nuo Nuo. You can get her from Denver Doll Emporium once again. With a face up, the doll comes for $198, and I think she has the absolute cutest face. So when I'm off of my doll buying ban, which I'm banned from buying dolls until March, but when I'm off my doll buying ban, I plan to get one of her, and I, I can recommend her, and this is why. I have a Doll Leaps body already. It's an MSD size body, and this is a budget body. The body was, I think it was $130 just for the body, and uh, the body's really nice. I like the quality. There's no seam lines in the body at all. Um, the jointing is really good. You know, it's got a double joint. It's not the most sophisticated joint you've ever seen, but you've got a large range of motion with the jointing of these dolls. And so I would feel very confident in recommending to you guys if you're under, if your budget's under $200 and you're wanting a really nice doll with a good face up, I would definitely go with the doll leaves, no nuo. And the link to buy that is below in the description. In the under $300 budgetary category, we have the Pookie Fee Dolls. And you can get those, once again, at Denver Doll Emporium. I know that I've used that one for the last three, but they're really great for buying company dolls versus artist dolls, because I'm gonna be getting very artist doll heavy after this 
uh, category. But Pookie Fee, you can get a Pookie Fee for $272 with a face up. And the nice thing about Pookie Fee is number one, lots of clothing available, lots of clothing and shoes, you know, very easy to shop for these dolls. Another thing is they hold their value really well um, because they're very popular. And so that's a really good doll uh, to go with if you're looking at the under $300 category. So you get face up and you get, um, like I said, a really popular doll that has a really nice jointing system and that will really retain their value. And so that, those are the ones I would go with at under $300. Now, I also didn't mention this before, but I wanna mention it now. I'm not considering secondhand dolls. You can buy a doll uh, used from, and I would only buy from reputable places because again, like I said, I do not support recast. But you can buy a used doll often for, you know, a fraction of the cost of a new doll. But what I wanted to do with this is I wanted to give you guys a list of new dolls because sometimes you just want a new doll that's brand new to you that you can enjoy. So anyway, that is my pick for the under $300 category. Now we're in the under $400 category, and as we go through these categories, you're gonna notice I pivot to all artist dolls, and that's because I collect mainly artist dolls and I prefer artist dolls. So that being said, there's one thing about artist dolls that's a little bit different about company dolls, and that is that generally you have to wait for the artist to open a pre-order. So for example, with Fairyland or with Doll Leaves, you still have to pre-order the doll, but the dolls are pretty much always available to pre-order. Artist dolls, they have specific pre ordering times throughout the year. But what this is designed to do is help you figure out your budget and you can be ready with your budget so when the artist opens a pre order, you can be ready to do that. So in the under $400 category, we have um, Chibi Pulpy from Lily Cat Dolls, and she's about, she's somewhere between a 1 8 and a 1 6. I think technically she'd be a 1 8, but she's a little bit bigger than my 1 8 dolls. And she, with a factory face up, now Lily Cat's factory face ups are some of the best factory face ups of any uh, doll artist out there. They always look superb. With a factory face up, this doll is 280 euros, which is roughly 350 US dollars right now. So that's under $400. It still leaves you a $50 budget to kind of play for with wigs and clothes and things like that. So that is Chibi Pulpy. Now the next one I want to talk about is the Dirac doll Mia and she is here. Now she is actually considered as well a artist doll because uh, Dirac is one artist creating these dolls and she tops out at $395 but she's a big doll she can wear little darling clothing as you've probably seen me talk about before she can wear Paola Lorena clothing. You could swap a Paola Lorena head onto this body if you wanted a different look, and Paola Lorena dolls are significantly less expensive than resin dolls. Um, but Mia comes with a face up and the body for $3.95, and she is shipping out of um, Korea, so shipping is not included with the price, of course, but she, at $3.95, this is a really, really great doll under $400, very poseable. Um, I love, you know, I love how she can share clothes with so many different types of dolls, like common dolls that are easy to find clothes for. So that makes her really, um, I think that makes her a really great doll to get in this budget category. In the under $500 category, I'm going to strongly recommend the Atelier Mamoni Patusas. Now, I don't have all of my Patusas out here, but I brought a few of them. These dolls are 1 6 scale. They can wear Barbie clothes, so that's amazing because you can just really open up your wardrobe. These dolls are around between 340 and 360 euros, depending on the resin tone you choose and which Patusa you choose, but that translates to about $430. Now, they will come blank and nude, so that that means they don't have a face up, but that leaves you with about a $70 budget to get yourself a face up. So you can pick a face up artist and have a face up done. You can also choose the factory face up uh, when you pre-order these dolls, but to be honest, I cannot remember exactly how much that is, but it would fall under the $500 category. So I strongly recommend um, these dolls because like I said, you know, the versatility with the clothes, they're the best posing dolls, you know, in this, they are pretty much 
the best posing dolls in this price category that you can find. These dolls pose so amazingly. And every time you go to get groceries, you can buy a new outfit because you can just go buy a Barbie fashion pack and you can dress your girl up and you know, that's a lot of fun. She's wearing a Barbie fashion right now. Actually, um, three of them are wearing Barbie fashion. She's wearing a Barbie fashion. I say Barbie. This one isn't a Barbie fashion, but it's a Barbie knockoff. Not a Barbie knockoff. It's, who is it? I think it's Steffi. I think this is a Steffi fashion. And then um, this girl is wearing a Barbie shirt. Her overalls are not Barbie, but her shirt is. For shoes, they can wear the um, the action, the one six action scale shoes. They're a little bit big. I always just buy shoes from Atelier Mimoni though, she has shoes that are specially made for these dolls, and so I buy them. You can also buy them from Etsy, but that is my big recommendation for the under $500 category, because like I said, you can get a blank doll for $430. You can have her customized a little bit to what you want because you have a $70 budget to play around with face up, and then clothes are super easy to find for these dolls. So that is under $500. Now we're in the under $600 category, and these are some of my favorite dolls that you see on this table right now. This is a Kim Arnold Trinket Box Kids doll, and now these top out at this budget at $600. But for $600, you get an artist full set doll. We're talking artist face up, artist outfit, shoes, wig. All of this stuff is designed by her. And this is a big doll. This is a one third scale doll. She can wear American girl size clothes. So again, you've got the ease of purchasing clothing for these dolls if you want to change them. Although the outfits that Kim, the artist, um, she designs are really, really beautiful. This is one of her designs. And my friend Audrey actually gave me this one because she said she wasn't going to use this um, Christmas outfit. And I was like, yes, I will gladly take it. Thank you very much. So um, Katara has been wearing that. But she, that is the price of her doll, $600 for a full set. And really great price. Like one of the best value dolls, uh, one of the best value BJDs that is out there because um, I just, I mean, the to get all of this for that price is amazing. And these are really heavy, substantial dolls, and I really, really love them. So that's great. Now, if you're under $600, but you want a more mature fashion style doll, we've got the Pasha Pasha Simply Beautiful. This is another favorite of mine. The Simply Beautiful dolls are $530. And they are, you've got that beautiful Pasha body, the silhouette. They are more of your fashion, more mature. Now they are going to come blank. So they're not going to have a face up at that price. They're not going to have any clothes or wig. But what you can do is you're left with a $70 budget. Because remember we're at $600. She's $530. You've got $70 left over to send and get her a face up. So I have a video actually on face up artists on the channel. I'll link that below as well in case you're looking for a good face up artist artists but there are a lot of good artists that will do a face up for under $70. Now will you be able to get a face up and body blushing for that price? You won't but you know if you're really wanting this type of doll and your budget is a strict 600 bucks you can do it. It's absolutely achievable. So those are my two picks for the under $600 category. We're in the under $700 category now, and so I've got three dolls here because I really just couldn't choose a favorite between these. First up, we've got a Judy Porter toddler. Now, her toddler's full set are $625, so this is artist full set. You get artist makeup, artist outfit, shoes, the whole nine yards, wig, so $625 for a full set. And I'll give you a little bit of a um, little pro tip here. This is December 24th, so it's Christmas Eve. These dolls are actually only $5.50 if you reserve one before January 1st. So if you can reserve one before January 1st, you get the 2020 pricing. But because of the increases in everything, she has to increase the price to $6.25 for 2021. So I went ahead and put them in the under $700 category. But, you know, this doll is cool too because she can share clothes. So she can share with Little Darling. She can share with Welly Wish or she can share with Glitter Girls. So that is one really nice thing about this doll is the shareability of her opens her wardrobe way up and it's easy to find affordable wardrobe pieces for this doll. So next we're going to do Novgorod. Now Novgorod is by Creatures Doll. She's technically a one quarter scale and she's a little bit of a small one quarter scale though. 
This stall is 490 euros, which comes right out to $600. So why am I putting it in the under $700 category? The reason I put it in the under $700 category is because she comes blank and nude and you want to get a face up. So that right now with exchange, that comes out to about $600. So you would want to, you would have $100 left to get you a nice face up for this doll. So these dolls are so gorgeous, y'all. I, I really love them. You know, I ordered another one of um, the Nove Garage just because I really, really adore these dolls. And they're a really beautiful artist doll. And there's something that's a little bit different if you're looking for a little more of a fantasy doll than just a regular human doll. So that was her. And then the very last one I want to to show you guys is one of my all-time favorites hush and hush is 470 euros which comes out to about I want to say it was 575 now the reason that I put her at 575 the reason I didn't put her in the under $600 category is you really can't get a face up for $25 I don't know anybody that really does face ups um, for that price. So I put her in the under $700 category, but that leaves you $125 to get you a really bang up face up for this doll. So I really love this doll. I wanted to put her on this list because she's one of my all time favorites, like I keep saying. Um, but she, I would put her in the under $700 category because you really want to get a nice face up for this doll um, to go to just, you know, because she's beautiful and she deserves it. So anyway, those are my picks for under $700. Under $800 category, I've got two dolls here, one being a mature doll, which is Pigeon Petite, and one being a child doll, which is an Anna Salvador Dragonfly Works doll. And both dolls come in at around $750, but let me tell you what you get for that. So the Pigeon Petite, he just released a holiday edition. It is sold out. It sold out very fast. But it was 20 dolls, and they were $750 each. Now, that was an artist full set. So you got an artist-made wig, outfit, and face up for that price and I would imagine future editions to have similar pricing so I would think that um, you if you're really wanting a pigeon petite you need to budget somewhere right under $800 for that for the Anna Salvador dolls what you get for that you don't get one of her full set outfits like is pictured here on my Emily but you do get a wig you get eyes you get face up and you get the hand blushing so you get all that beautiful work that um, Anna does with her dolls just minus the outfit but these dolls can share with Blythe so you can find some really cute Blythe outfits for this doll she's a little bit taller than Blythe but for the most part they look okay now they come in at 610 euros which is about 750 right now with exchange so both of these dolls leave a little bit of a budget a little bit of a $50 budget there to play with clothing and things like that pigeon can share with Barbie you can see she's wearing a Barbie fashion right now it was playing around with her the other day with some different Barbie fashions so that was a lot of fun um, but both of these dolls are very gorgeous and they come in in, in at your budget under $800 Alright, we're getting up to the top of the budgets now. So we are in the under $900 category. My choices for the in the under $900 category are La Belle's Du Jour dolls. Now these are one third size dolls. You can see this one is wearing a smart doll outfit right now. And they don't wear, they're not able to wear all smart doll outfits, but there is some degree of shareability there. So I like that. These dolls are 650 euros, which comes in at around 795, but they come blank and nude. So that leaves you $105 to get a really beautiful face up um, for one of these dolls. And she's actually been sharing some photos of some new doll faces that she's sculpting, which is really cool because I really love her dolls. I think they're so beautiful. So those are La Belle's Du Jour dolls. And then the next one I'm gonna show you guys is the Stasia doll. And her dolls, you can buy them on Etsy. They are full sets, so you get wig, face up, and lingerie outfit, plus a pair of shoes for $8.95. So you're coming in, you know, you got $5 to spare on the budget, but you're getting an artist full set. And so I always love getting the artist full set because you really don't have to put anything else together after that. You've got everything you need, and the doll comes ready to display, ready to play. You don't have to go get any face up or anything like that. So those are really beautiful dolls for that price point. 
So I didn't really think of a great child doll in this category. However, Connie Lowe does from time to time sell her small Stella kids, which are, if you're familiar with Stella, she'll do an artist proof and those artist proofs are around $8.50. So if you're looking for, you know, a, a less mature doll, like a child doll in this price category, I just wanted to give an honorable mention to those, but those would be her artist proof dolls. If they're not artist proofs, they would fall more in the under $800 category, I believe. So anyway, that is under $900. We're now at the final under $1,000 category for budget. And so you see here, I've got two of my premium fashion dolls. I've got a Popovi Sisters Quetzal on body four. And you can get a doll, a Popovi doll on body four for $940. Now that doll will come blank and nude, but that leaves you a $60 budget to get a face up. So I think you can find a decent face up for around $60. You can also order a Pasha Pasha Mini at pre-order for $900. So it will also come blank and nude at that price point, but that leaves you a $100 budget to get a face up. So both of these, you know, will come blank and nude at this budget, but it still have some budget left over to do face ups. Now that being said, if you're located in the United States, it may be actually less expensive overall to get the Pasha Pasha because you don't have to send a wire and the shipping is gonna be more reasonable. To have one of these dolls shipped from the Popovi Sisters is around $100. And also it costs, my bank charges $45 wire transfer fee to send money. So realistically, this doll probably is not gonna be under $1,000, but I did say I was going to exclude shipping costs when I talked about the dolls. So you could get this doll for under that price, but you're just not going to be able to, you know, do a lot with her for that money. So just depending on where you live, if you're not in the United States, you know, the shipping for this doll is probably a lot less expensive and it may be easier for you to transfer money to Russia than it is for us here in the US. So that being said, both of these dolls are in my under $1,000 category. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope that it's helped you kind of think about what dolls you might want and what would fit into your budget. I have left links for where to purchase these dolls all below in the description. Um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do a video like this, but for other collectible dolls that are not BJDs, because I would love to do another video for um, that if you're interested in it. Also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.